Welcome, I'm Graydon, and this has been Buster, where I buy, watch, and video budget bin movies for you. Today, it's a 1991 sequel to that animated classic that I did last week. It's part of our Animation August. And American Tale, and this is the sequel, American Tale, FIFO Goes West. It's right here, it's this side. As always, I'll give you my good, my bad, my thoughts, and my ratings on this classic children's movie. First of all, this movie shows the Mousekowitz family, along with the rest of Mouse Town, going out west to where, supposedly, the cats and mice work together. They're duped into this by a smooth-talking, sophisticated cat, played by John Cleese, whose ultimate idea is to get him, is to make him into mouse burgers. Yeah, he wants to eat all these mice. But all these mice are duped into thinking, Oh, we can live peacefully with all these cats. No, it's not going to happen that way. But anyways, that's a little quick synopsis. I got to say that the good of this is not only is it done, produced again by Steven Spielberg, like the first one was, way to go there, the talent Mr. Spielberg was able to get for this movie, besides the return of Dom DeLuise as... As Tiger, we get Jimmy Stewart in his final role as Wyatt Burp. Yes, Wyatt Burp, the dog sheriff. And if you see him, he's that guy right there. That's Wyatt Burp. And there's Tiger. And then we also get John Lovitz as this little spider guy up here, who also steals the show at times in here. So, I mean, you get a decent cast in this movie. You get some really well-known names in here who play these guys. And, yeah, only Steven Spielberg could bring those guys in there. I shouldn't say that. Don Bluff did get Burt Reynolds. But Burt Reynolds an animated thing? Yeah. I mean, to get someone like Jimmy Stewart, though? Oh, that's a lot. That's iconic. So, like I said, they go out west. As they all go out west, Fifle overhears... The evil cat's plan to make a mouse burger. No one believes him. So he's going to prove him wrong. And then the spider comes and takes Fifel, throws him off the train. So Fifel's running around the desert. Tiger misses his friend. He runs after him, gets on a train, goes after him. And they pass each other. They think they've seen each other in a whole mirage in the desert. They go, hello, mirage, Fifel. Hello, mirage, tiger. And don't realize it's each other. Until Tiger walks by this pile of bones. The pile of bones gets up, attacks him, find out there are a bunch of mice. They're about ready to cook Tiger. And then all of a sudden the moonlight shines on him and a bomb this rock where they think, Oh, he's a god. So Tiger becomes a god. Yes, Tiger becomes a god to, these India, to this ancient Indian type of tribe of mice. So he, get, he gets that in there and it's one of those things that it's, it's hilarious because he's, uh, he goes, one line is, how do you know, how do these people know I'm a vegetarian? And they're feeding him fruit. I don't know. That was classic Dom DeLuise right there. Like all his lines that he has in here is perfect and everything. It focuses on Feifel's sister a lot in this movie too, Tanya, where she wants to become a star in singing. She gets her big break at a saloon where the cats are and it stops the cats dead in their tracks to the point where they love her. They want nothing to happen to her because they love her. That is until she, until Fifle tells her what's going on and then Fifle, then Tanya goes on the mouse trap and they're afraid to crush her. So she gets every mouse off of there and hilarity ensues. So I'll get, go through, through some of my bads right now just to let you guys know. It's a little fast paced for my liking. It just seems like it was boom, 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 boom. Pretty rapid. It keeps the emotional core of the original, at least somewhat. The original one had memorable moments, but when you see Fifo and his family reunite in that first one, you just feel the love and the longing to see them because they've missed each other. In this one, Fifo returns, Oh, my son's back! Ah, here! Ah, ah, Moscow, it's holding the rope! Oh, sorry! Ah, it's okay, Fifo, I have to hold this rope. It's not really there anymore. That emotional tie is not there anymore. 
it's there a little bit, but it isn't as played up as the first one. And the songs are kind of lacking in this movie. Although we get one, Dreams, Dreams Will Be Dreams by Linda Ronstadt. It's actually a phenomenal song. And I mean, besides that one, all the songs are not that memorable. And not as catchy as somewhere out there in the first one. But that's, these are just my opinions. And then when we first see White Burp, he's a dog who's out, who's out for the longest time, for for everything. Because no one, no one believes in him. No one, no one's afraid of him anymore. But Fivefold brings him back. He goes, "I'm too old to do this. I need a dog to do this." So, so he brings in Tiger. Okay, I understand you want to bring in Tiger. I understand he's not like any other cats. He's a very friendly cat. He's friends with Fifo and the Moskowitz family. They like Tiger. Um, but, but trying to have him be a dog, even though there's a line in the earlier in the movie with his girlfriend Miss Kitty when she leaves him to go out west so she could become a star. She, he um, she says, she says I don't want a cat like a dog. They're like, huh? What? So he learns how to bark. Learns to get these crazy eyes and becomes the new sheriff of, becomes a deputy and ultimately probably becomes a new sheriff when Burp steps down. Now I'm going to give you guys my little thoughts on this. This movie, like I said, doesn't have the core elements of some of the other one, of the first one, but it's not lacking either. Don't get me wrong. The first one, obviously, I gave it a five stars. It's worth that five star rating. This one, not so much. I will give this. I'll give this movie right here. American Tale, Five Goes West. I'll give that a four star rating. It's not as good as the original, but it's close. It's close. It's not as, for me, it's not as memorable. I love the American Tale. I could have cared less for this one when I was a kid. Even nowadays, I have them both because they're both classics. I love them both. But I always go and rewatch American Tale. I'll never, I'll occasionally rewatch Five Foot Goes West, but it's always going to be rewatching American Tale. And that's how I rate these movies. To, and now, I just want to give you a little quote from Jimmy Stewart, who plays White Burp in here, in What Is Our his Final Lines. Just remember, Fifle, one man's sunset is another, another man's dawn. I don't know what's out there beyond those hills. But if you ride yonder, head up, e eyes steady, heart open, I think one day you'll find, what, find that hero that you've been looking for. Those are Jimmy Stewart's last lines as he's sitting on a rock with Fifle, wa look, watching the sunset. Those are, that's just some iconic lines by an iconic actor in his final role. That made me cry. So you don't know what's beyond those hills? I do. Pick up American Tale, Five Will Goes West. Enjoy it with your family. Have a great time. Make it a movie night. And always to remember to dive right in.